Hello everyone, Jason Warren with DT Met, and I want to give an update on the well-advertised storm system that we have coming at the end of the week. Uh, there's still a lot of things that we don't know regarding this storm system, a lot of uncertainty that we have, and the models continue to shift around in their solutions for the evolution of the system. Uh, what we do know is that there will be a lot of wind and a lot of cold air that come in behind this system for a lot of people from the central U.S. into the eastern and northeastern United States for the end of the week and into the Christmas weekend. Uh, that's something that we're fairly certain of. What we are more uncertain of is the exact track of the system, how intense it will be, and who will see the heaviest snowfall. Right now we're looking at the GFS model. This is the uh, 12Z run from this morning. Uh, and it shows the system developing across the plain states, deepening rapidly, and then spreading up into the Great Lakes, with uh, deep surface flow developing somewhere over uh, eastern Indiana or western Ohio uh, by the 23rd. The storm then continues to intensify as it spreads northeastward uh, across the eastern Great Lakes, with heavy snow wrapping in behind it and the potential for blizzard conditions. The Canadian model is similar with a low coming up through Ohio and the uh, European model has the low coming up through Indiana and into Michigan. Uh, this is where we have the most uncertainty is where it will track, but it'll track either up through the Great Lakes or along the Appalachians and anywhere in between is most likely at this point, but a track further east cannot be ruled out either at this point in time. The heaviest snow will fall on the back side of the system and could fall anywhere from the central Great Lakes back in this area across Michigan, Wisconsin, northern Illinois. Or if the system tracks further east, the heaviest snowfall could fall further east across portions of the Ohio Valley and eastern Great Lakes. If the um, track is more along the east coast, then the heaviest snow would fall uh, more along the Appalachians and up into the northeastern U.S. At this time, that's the least likely out outcome, but it's one that cannot be totally ruled out at this point in time. We will continue to monitor the latest model trends and will post additional updates as new information becomes available. So continue to follow us or subscribe for the latest updates.